And here we are, Mike, for another week of Tipster. Good to be back. Good to be back. Is it week three? That's week four. All right. <laughs> time quick, time flies they? when you're having fun. <laughs> and uh, hey, just before we came in, I was looking at the uh, I was looking at the results for Saturday. Yeah. And um, I saw a, a Michael Gannon there on the board. Yeah. Um, you want to tell us a bit about what went on? Complete fill up. Complete fill up. Threw a few darts. Six out of ten hit. <laughs> few hit. What a day. All except one important one, the whole mixed moral. What happened yeah. there, mate? Close. Uh, I can't remember. Can't remember? No, Never was, mind. It came second. No, nah, it was good. That's not yeah, too look, bad. Yeah, you got to be happy with that. It was just, it just victim of circumstances. It, it, it would have won. Yeah. Well, but if, it swap, if you swapped ru- uh, runs with the winner, it wins. Of course. Um, or look, happens often. Happens often. Yeah. Happens often. Happens often. So, look, we've got a, we've got a great show. We've got some, some really interesting stuff. Big going on today. Big going on. There's a lot going on. Uh, we're going to look at Saturday, who who killed it, apart from Michael Gannon, of course. Oh, um, we're also, look, by popular demand, how the fuck did you tip that is back? Um, punters loved Went it. off last week. Went off last yeah. week, brought it back again. And look, we've got some participation coming up for audience, so we've got a massive tip-off coming. Yeah. We're going to tell you how to register for that. 2000 bucks in cash will go off Whenever it's cold, cold, hard cash. Cold, hard cash. And it's uh, it's an exciting one. Should it's an exciting good. one. So hang around for that. Make sure you're watching through the program to find out how to register. Tips are in focus. Tips are in focus with a big morph at full carnival coming up. James Jordan. James Jordan. From racing.com. From racing.com. So Had good, a good one chat. there. Yeah. Great chat indeed. Um, and uh, look, we're looking at the Greyhound gurus this week as well. Love a dish liquor. There's some absolute gurus on our side, isn't Mate, there? Some I mean, of the best. Uh, just some of the best. Red hot. So we have to mention them, give them a go. There's also another chance to win as well. Uh, yeah. the, the boys from Punter's Wardrobe have chimed in yeah. um, with a bit of a giveaway there. So stay Hang tuned around. for that. Stay tuned. So yeah. lots of ways to win. Register to win 2000 bucks. Punter's Wardrobe, participate. Hang around. We want to know who's hot, Mike. So we're looking at Saturday. Who killed it? Yep. Uh, make sure the punters know who's going well and who's uh, who's absolutely firing white hot. Yeah, welcome to the Gary Monaghan show. For he's the back. Fourth time running. <laughs> he's back. It isn't the Gary Monaghan show, but it may as well be because he's flying. Or Metho um, Man. Oh, um, Metho Man. Is. Unbelievable. Yeah, and it, That look, gear change worked well. It worked well. He's appearing again uh, yeah. in another favourable segment. Too good. Also got Joel Marshall from Best Bets. Yeah, Joel. Joel's the uh, look, best way to describe Joel is he's the Tony Brazel of Best Bets. Tips everywhere. Yeah. Knows what he's doing. Uh, probably a bigger focus in Melbourne, but look, look, he's killed it. Two hundred and sixty-nine pot. You got to be happy with that. Twenty-two dollar thirteen average, average price. Unbelievable. Just wins. Just wins. Boys, the boys flying. Um, big on social media. Yep. You'll be able to. You're big Instagram fan yourself, so you'll be able to try and follow, <laughs> yeah. follow there late at night yeah. doing your thing. Um, and then on Twitter as well, the boys are there. Uh, they also do Wednesday and Saturday uh, best bets for us as well. So try yeah, in those free best bets articles. Yeah. Um, on a Wednesday and Saturday. They do well. They do well. So this segment went off last week, Mike. Huge. So we're we're bringing it back. Yeah. And uh, the old Gary Monaghan, he's back again. We we the showed Monaghan him. Show. It's the Monaghan show. But interestingly, he tipped two a double figure odds on the weekend, and a really interesting story about how the fuck he tipped that. Let's hear it. Sen Tober starting to come into the picture. It's a cheaper in front of high supremacy. Sen Tober, Lions Rolls grinding. Sen Tober the Grey down the outside in the hands of Hugh Bowman. Sen Tober at odds goes home to win the Frank Pack. G'day, Gary. How are you going? How you going, Damien? Excellent, mate. Great. That's the way. That's the way. Look, uh, imagine you'd be uh, smiling from uh, cheek to cheek after uh, after the win on Sen Tober. Ah, oh, yep, it was a good one, that one. I had a few good ones on the weekend, but yeah, that probably uh, is the top of them. Yeah, just one of a few, obviously, uh, in, in deep double-figure odds. Uh, yeah. Gary, I, I just want to go over, I was just reading from the winning post here on Sin October, and obviously a lot of punters who had a look at it on the weekend would have read something similar. Uh, gave most the start to 600 metres and underwriting to be seven lengths off at the turn. Made a bit closest to the fence, but well off. Didn't improve. Held ground at very best, and that's describing its last run at Kenzo. Punters then looked at the, the at the board and saw 28 bucks about it. Probably got more scared. You've stayed courageous. You've found it. You've backed it. And punters are asking the question, mate. How the fuck did you tip that? Uh, yeah, well, I, I think as most of my tipping, I really look to forgive horses for one bad run and sometimes two. Um, if you look at my history of tips, they're generally... Um, good priced winners so 
uh, I think I might do that more than most, is just really try to forgive the run. Now, that run, that run you spoke of, uh, was on a heavy track. It was in the worst part of the track. Um, you know, it didn't really give him much chance um, to really do his best work. So, you know, looking back at his, his win beforehand uh, down at Mooney Valley, uh, it was only over 1,600 there, probably not his ideal trip. Uh, three wide the trip there, looked, looked a good horse then. Um, so, you know, if you forgive those poor runs when you can sort of think that there might have been something against it, didn't get through the heavy, um, you know, just basically scratch that one out of the form guide and just look for something, you know, that gives you a bit of chance. And then you, when you see the odds, I think it was 51 top fluck you could have got on the day. So yeah. people, other people must have found it as well because it definitely got backed in a bit late. I just thought Lions Raw was way too short. You know, it's opened up. It's, it was sort of coming towards its uh, end of its campaign. Obviously a good horse, yep. uh, but something you can take a risk, you know, coming 2,400 back to 2,000. Just too many little risks there. Um, and then, so once I identify a horse like that, then I'm sort of looking around it and then just trying to find reasons to fix something else. And, yeah, it's stood yeah. out. What did you grab it at? Did you grab it at fixed and, and what price? No, I do most of my betting uh, best of best, so yeah, yep. I would have. I got fifty one. Nice. That's excellent, Gary. I mean, uh, just certainly not wrong when you talk about yourself getting, getting them at odds. Back to uh, Mister Exclusive at thirty four in the day as well. And furthermore, over the past uh, three months, over the past ninety days, sixty three percent pot, and your average uh, winners have come in at over sixteen bucks. Well, congratulations, mate, and uh, hope it continues, and certainly for your followers as well. So how the fuck did you tip that is really striking a chord with punters, Mike. And we want to bring more into play. So how are we going to do it, mate? So we've teamed up with the boys at Punters Wardrobe. Yep. Uh, they do a fantastic job. They've got a number of shirts out there. Um, this week we've gone with Back Purton. How keep is this the one? bookies hurting. <laughs> I love it. It's fantastic. So what we're going to do, it basically... Sounds like a rap, it sounds like a rap theme. Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? A bit of gangster, a bit of dollar coins, a bit, bit going on there, mate. It's a bit of your style. You'll see you one of those later on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we might actually get you to wear it next week. Yeah, okay. If we can get one big enough. Um, so we've teamed up with the boys. Basically, what we're going to do is you come to the YouTube, you subscribe, yep, and then you tip us your best long shot of the weekend, or sorry, of Saturday. Yeah, make a com um, put a comment under there. Yeah, make a comment. It'd be Hawkesbury, Race Blah, The Horse, and you know, just to make it simple, just put the fixed odds price that it is there. Top tote's fine as well, but if it's if it's $21, it gets back to $9, just write yep. the $21 for us so we know. Um, pretty simple stuff. Any mm -hmm. other conditions? Are you gonna throw anything well, on there? Well, big, the biggest biggest price winner win, That's wins it. it. That's um, it. Just to go over that again, so you're watching this on a YouTube video, if you go below, you'll see a subscribe button. You click that subscribe button, go a bit lower, you'll see the comments. In that comments area, type in your long shot tip, uh, the price as well, so the, you know, the racetrack number, Etc. So we know which what you're tipping, and the longest shot over 20 bucks. We said didn't over, we, 20 over 20 bucks. It's all yours. The Zach Purton shirt from the guys at PunnersWardrobe.com. Easy. Go yeah. check it out. So Mike, the great tip off is coming. Yeah, it's huge. Two thousand dollars cash. Two thousand dollars cash. We're putting uh, a tipster up against four media tipsters. Yep. Week after week. Yep. They make a profit for four weeks in a row, beat their media opponent. Sounds easy to me. Yeah, it sounds easy. Yeah. Um, we're going to give them $2,000 hard cash. That's simple. How do I sign up? How do you sign up? If you're already a member, yep. uh, you, you've got your alias. If you're not, go to the site, join up uh, your alias or your tipping ID. Yep. Uh, you go to the video uh, page where you're seeing this right now. Yep. You subscribe to our YouTube channel. The, easy. The, the button there you're seeing on the screen. You put into the comment your tipster alias, and uh, put that comment through, and you've you've registered. You're it's done. that easy. You're easy. Done. I'll do and it you're now. Ready to go. You're beauty. <laughs> there we go. Two thousand dollars cash. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be ongoing. Uh, so look, register now. So Mike, uh, the big Morphville Carnival coming up. Um, big we, day of racing ahead. Big day of racing. It's yeah. uh, you got the Sangster and um, Australasian Oaks. So it's a pretty exciting day. Yeah. We thought we'd focus on someone who's going red hot at Morphville at the moment. He's a gun. He's a gun. He's You're going to know best. him well from racing.com. Yeah. James Jordan. James Jordan. Yep. James Jordan. Uh, he's, he's three profit weeks in a row at Morphville. Yeah. Um, landed his best bet at $7.20 last week. So we're calling up to have a chat. 
Look, and that's fantastic. And his stats are amazing. But do you know what I want to know? What? I want to know how the Morfittville track will play on Saturday. Absolutely. So we're going to ask him. Let's do it. Great. How are you going there, James? I'm well, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Looking, uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, look, great. Thanks for making yourself available. Obviously, the big uh, more football carnival kicking off this weekend, so um, uh, it's it's a great time to get you on. And certainly with uh, with your recent performance, uh, noting uh, on the site there, we've got three profit days in a row at Morfable. Um and and just noticing that um, uh, just on the weekend, one of your best bets uh, got got up as well, and. Uh, so obviously, best bets doing well. Are you able to give punters an idea of what your best bets mean when you when you sort of uh, tag something as a best bet? What that what that's telling punters? Yes, normally um, I obviously price them all. So I'm sort of looking for ideally a price discrepancy where I've got a mark shorter. Um, yeah. But you sort of as much as you price them up, you also want to be on a horse that you that you're keen to back for whatever reason you think it's going well or. Um, because he's got some improvement there. So the best is normally something that I've got, if not shorter, marked very close to the mark, and a horse I reckon is going quite well. So, I mean, you've only got nine races to choose from. I sometimes don't bet in distance races, but, um, but you know, it's, it's the best of the remaining probably seven races I'm keen to bet in. So, I mean, is it fair to assume then if it's your best bet, you're on it? Then, um, yep. yep. Definitely. And, and... I... Um, I Anything I even give you know, a reasonably good push for, I've backed myself. I sort of think if I'm not prepared to back it, I don't really want to tip it either. In, in regards to, obviously, you know, your, your job and what you're doing there and, and you're staking up, and obviously you're doing the prices yourself, which is qu- quite a fantastic sort of job for you know, a journo tipster to be doing that as well. Um, are, are you having other bets ar- around the game, around the grounds on, on your other value tips? And, and do they sort of pop up in your tips as well as like second and third selections? Yeah, definitely. I, I I back horses outside my top four. It's, I've sort of made, I'm not a massive fan of the top four, to be honest. Um, often it's hard because you you, you might, might put your tips in in the morning at eight o'clock and you might have a horse mark say two dollars twenty and it might be a dollar seventy, and you might put the second pick on top and then come jump time it's three bucks and you're having a really good bet on it and people think you don't like it because you tipped something else. So it's just hard to predict, you know, the way that the market's necessarily going to move some of the time. Um, obviously, you've got to be, you know, pretty accurate and hope that you can predict the movement in some degree. But sometimes there'll be a drift, and and you sort of have a horse in the second or third that you actually would have had on top if, if it was that price in the morning. If you sort of catch my drift, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll back. I'll sometimes back a horse. I might have sixth or seventh pick that I've got marked, say twenty six dollars, but it's fifties. Uh, I'll back it, and that's why I sort of think watching the coverage is important because you'll get a little push here or there for horses um, that perhaps weren't in the numbers, but that I think are over the odds now. Yeah, exactly. And look, we'll all be tuning into racing.com on uh, Saturday for the Morfittville card. For us, advice for us um, up up north here, um, if we're looking to have a bet at Morfittville on Saturday, what what should we be looking for in regards to potential, you know, track bias or, you know, the way that that you read the day playing out? Well, the track's back in the true, the rail rubber's back in the true, first time since the 8th of March on Cup Day, and it's been out in sort of a 10 metre position the last couple of meetings so i reckon that the inside maybe seven meters which is probably three or four lanes will be cleaner ground so yep. i wouldn't yep. sw- i wouldn't sort of steer um too far away from uh, backing horses drawn inside i think it won't be a problem um horses with you know good gates that perhaps can lob back at the speed or thereabouts i think they'll probably get their chance so and that's uh that's a great insight for punters there james we appreciate that and certainly great insight into your uh, view on staking vis-a-vis tips. I think that's one thing we press a lot at thegreattipoff.com, a staking plan versus tips, and I uh, think you've given a good example of, of the difference there. So, look, James, all the best, mate, for the big day on Saturday. And again, thank you very much for your time today, mate, and all the best. So, Michael, uh, thegreattipoff.com is as much about greyhound and harness racing tips as it is horse racing. We've got them all here. You certainly do. Um, and, uh, look, we thought we'd look at the uh, the gun or the gurus, actually, we're calling the guru greyhound tipsters. Yeah. We've taken a snapshot of the 90-day leaderboard. And, look, at the top here, we've got Caliente tips. Do you know where Caliente is, Mike? Uh, Mexico, mate. <laughs> you know that? Yeah, Do you know exactly it. where in Mexico it is? No, absolutely no idea. No idea. Never been there. Tijuana. 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 Fantastic. Yeah. Have you been to Tijuana? Uh, no. No. Okay. No. So Caliente tips. I mean, absolutely going great. Guns what, are, what are we doing here, right? So this is a, we're talking midweek, afternoon, Guzmani Gomez, <laughs> Corona comes out, we sit back, we, we, we can't pick a winner at the gallops, and we just go, you know what? 
I need a winner. Let's go. GTO, Caliente tips, follow. There we follow. go. Beautiful. And get on him. I mean, he's like it's 50, simple. 54%. I Ridiculous. Mean, it's outstanding at $6 average price. Too good. So that's going well. Richard Bell, race caller, uh, look, does more than Greyhounds yeah. race calling, but he's going absolutely red hot as well. WA? WA, of course, yep. yeah. So your managers and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, great for your late night punt. Uh, you've had a fill up in the day on the, on, on the, on the GGs. Flip it over to manager of Gaze, always goes well. Um, Suva Siani there, mate. Yeah, uh, unbelievable. Holds, holds a record? Holds a record. Yeah. Well, actually, it's been recently overtaken, but he held the record for the biggest streak, 19-day streak. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, yeah, so he's, he goes well. And, know much uh, about this bloke called Jay Money? Jay Money. Oh, he's the goat. He's the goat. <laughs> One of the best. He is the goat. He has, uh, I think in the last 20 months, he's had two unprofitable months. I yeah. mean, so that's like 18 profitable months out of 20. Um, lifetime profit maker on the site. He tips winners for fun. Tips them for fun. And when he tips them, they shorten. <laughs> Very quickly. Another show, Mike. Done. Done and dusted. We're done and dusted. Uh, mixed moral. So let me let me go before you get into it. Uh, where are we? We're three weeks gone yeah. on, with mixed moral. Yeah. Um, and uh, we flexible had, uh, run a third. Yep. Yep. Converge one by a hundred yards. Yep. About what three twenty? So and very very in a second. Second. So nudge. two two out of three the place. One out of three. Yeah, about eight percent in front. <laughs> what? Something Touch like that. Go. Yeah, you're in front. Okay, <laughs> I haven't got your pot here, but. Um, it looks, it sounds like it's going okay. What have you got for us this week? Uh, short and sharp, this one. A theory. Hawksby, race five, number five. Josh Parr on board. Uh, it'll just sit, well, probably, hopefully, one pair back um, behind leaders and just get a nice little gap on turning for home and pff, see you later. All right, so there we got. Uh, we've got a theory at Hawksbury this weekend, mixed moral. Um, just before we go, remember every tips you've seen on this uh, show and more, uh, yep. you can go to the uh, search Search their name, uh, hit the follow, get alerted every time they tip. Easy. And, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Down below. Subscribe down below. You'll get notified as soon as this show drops. Without and a doubt. remember, we've got the $2,000 great tip off happening where you can take on media tips to win $2,000. Yep. Um, what you have to do is just post your GTO or the great tip off alias tipping ID. Uh, on our site and subscribe to our, on the YouTube page and subscribe to the YouTube page and and of course the punterswardrobe.com Zach Purton shirt how do we get that? Uh, very easy this one go to the YouTube channel <laughs> under the bottom of the video give yeah. us your best long shot of the week over $20 let us know what it is uh, and the highest price uh, winner. winner will win the shirt Yep, that's it. And Thanks to the uh, boys at Punters Wardrobe for what, that. What happens if a couple tip the same thing? I don't know. We'll have to think oh, we'll about that one. We'll something. come back with something yeah, on that one. We'll sort you out. Anyhow, Punters, all the best. I hope you uh, have a cracking weekend. More for Fool's a big day. Um, remember, um, putt smart. Come to the GTO. Check out our, uh, our tipsers. The tipsers. Back a theory. Yeah. Do all those things, guys. Good luck, guys and girls. All the best. Bye.